many other things. One more. You need to design your strategy for lifelong learning. When I was young, I graduated, I got a career, and I was set for life. When you graduate, and I hope you all will go to university, if you, those of you who aren't, you're not set for life. You're set for about 15 minutes. And if you took a technical course in the first year, chances are a lot of it's obsolete by the time you get to the fourth year. You will reinvent your knowledge base multiple times as you go throughout life. Have you heard of Silicon Valley, California? Of the technology industry for 40 years. Where will the center for the second era be? Could it be in Korea? And this is so important because you don't only want a big industry, Web3 and blockchain is the operating system for the new economy for the next century. So it's critical that all of you understand this. And when you go into the workforce or you're planning a life that's purposeful, that you will be equipped with knowledge of the new platform for the next decades ahead. This is a new paradigm. A paradigm is a mental model and paradigms put boundaries around what we think. We think the internet is about information, right? That's a paradigm. But now there's a new paradigm emerging about value. And when you have a shift in the paradigm, it's often received badly with coolness or worse, mockery, hostility. And when you complete your studies and you go into the workforce, you will run up against old mental models and old views. And leadership for changing a paradigm will be your personal opportunity, not your boss's opportunity, not the person sitting next to you, your personal opportunity because anyone can be a leader and make a difference. Thank you very much. 네,